Break the laryngus spasm. Come on, fix it. Otherwise, I'm going to find someone else who can. Look, she is heading for a myocardial or cerebral ischemia. I know, I know. All right, give me Rose. Anyone. Come on, do it. Sats at 62. You are not robbing me of Gloria. Falling. Ask him. How did this happen? The volatile anesthetic's out. Oh, come on, man. No wonder she's light. I checked it. The dial says empty. Okay, let's refill and get me some propofol. She's under. Thank you. No problem. Is she going to be all right now? Get out. What? Hang, hang on. That's not your decision. Out! I got you covered. You're relieved. You want to argue with me right now? <sighs> How bad? I doubt you'd have lost her, but could have resulted in brain damage. I'm glad you're here. We good to go? Yep. More yours. All right, let's get you to the delivery suite. She'll need some Sintermetrin, and the uh, obstetrician should take a look at her. Oh, don't fuss. Um, write her up some paracetamol and diclofenac PRN. Joseph, do you not think it might be a good idea if... It may be fine. Uh, well, it's just the holy grapevine. Nurse Anderson has had a baby boy. Oh, she's a mate of mine. Stat stabilized. Hey, I wonder if Daisha's news got around to Jack. I know she was really concerned. Was she? Oh, why wouldn't she be? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. Kids, kittens, and baby seals. Jack can't get enough of her. Can we concentrate now? Oh, now there's some good news. I'll say. Oh, um, Maddie didn't get the Keller rotation. She never said. Well, she knows you've got bigger battles. Ugh, that cow Davina couldn't have been more insensitive if she tried. She told Maddie in the middle of the ward in her best by the way manner. Right. I'm in the boardroom now, grumbling. Change of venue. I'm oh, sorry. Did you not see the email? It may all be for nothing. Connie wasn't biting. Oh, that's a shame. Jane still wanted this push through. Not well, the procedure will stand or fall on its own merits. Let me talk to Connie. Okay, um, Maddie Young. What about her? She's a valued member of this team. You could have handled it better. Isn't he wonderful? Yeah. How did Archie get off, right? Oh, Archie's fine. Amy he was saying goodbye. Faye, I'm so sorry. I should have been there. There'll be other days. Look, I, I should have been through so much. I just need to uh, finish the job off as well. Of course, of course, go on. Okay, okay. Let's go. I better sort out this incident with Jamie. Uh, Grayson's on leave. Well, I'll have to write a report. Okay, wait. You write the report, but I will tackle management. I threw him out. I called you in. It's my mess. I'm a big girl, Michael. Yeah, but it's your first day, and you have to save my patient. Come on, give yourself a break. And for this kind gesture, you'll want... Nothing. I'm just looking out for you. It's great watching you in theater today. Mm. I've always loved watching you work. I'll see you. Mrs. Beecham, about Mr. Cullen's trial. Right, I've already spoken to Mr. Cullen. I thought I could at least rely on you to uh, separate the uh, kooks from the clinicians. What I'm hoping for is clarity. Oh, you indeed. 
seems to me this is Jane's fixation as much as it is Lyndon's. And I worry she's a little emotionally raw to see Flash calling for what it truly is. What would that be exactly? Well, it's all a little uh, science fiction, isn't it? Thermal suits and the like. The board want a sound landscape of ideas in which to invest time and money, not the, uh, the hand-me-down theories of Star Trek. All right, let me stop you there. Mr. Cullen's cryogenics theory, I know, meets all EU directives for clinical testing. And in fact, I'm confident he has the approval of the Medicinal Health Regulatory Agency because the trials are not only sound in design, they are scientifically valid. And what's more, it works. My question to you is, have you even read the paper? No, no not in its entirety. But I suggest you do that. One lad pulled from a freezing river survived. We were all grateful for that. But now Lyndon expects the board to jump through hoops to get this trial started. Mrs. Beecham. We are rightly quite cautious about stomping up two million pounds for this. Lyndon is simply throwing his rattle out of the pram. Do you know what? I have patience to see. I'm sure you have pens to push. Joseph. He's fine. He's just been monitored. And you? I live to fight another day. Ah, here he is. I'll be back in a minute to help with the baby's speed. Okay? And you better get back to Faye? Yes, yeah. Oh. Uh, she sends her best. <laughs> we uh, said some things in the lift. Don't worry. About this cowboy anaesthetist. Ah, Mrs. Spence, I was expecting you. Now, where is it? It's a report from Jamie admitting to his momentary blip in theatre earlier. Son of a... Got to you first, huh? I believe he was expressing his regret that the uh, equipment in theatre wasn't double-checked. Thanks to his incompetence. We can't just elbow the man out, you know. He almost killed Mrs. Rowlands. He is notching them up on his gun belt. I believe his past indiscretions were just hearsay. He wasn't directly implicated. Where does this leave us? It leaves you holding a report and me off to the board to rein in yet another maverick. The locum anesthetist who just so happened to save that patient's life is writing her report right now. Well, I am under obligation to pass that on to Mr. Griffin. And Jamie may have to agree to supplementary training. Slap on the wrist. <laughs> you know, the way I see it, if you're not on the team, you're useless. Okay. How about the locum? Locum, yeah, Annalise. She's competent, isn't she? Yeah, sure, she's competent. Okay. I could look into finding some gardening leave for Jamie, and why not employ Annalise full-time? <laughs> Have you no respect for protocol? Yeah, of course. So what is this, the NHS policy of the quick fix? When did most convenient become analogous to best person for the job? Uh, point taken. Hmm. Let's just forget you ever suggested that. Frankly, I don't know why we couldn't do this in the boardroom. Um, thank you all for coming. Now, uh, quite often, trauma is confined to two areas, patients that are already dead and survivors that can be managed at a hospital. Uh, the development of technology for any middle ground is stagnant and being ignored. Until now, that is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I will need a volunteer. Uh, yes, please, sir. If you could just pop those uh, gloves on for me, please. Thank you. And uh, so, Chief, if you could just give the screen a tap. Marvellous. Now, I'm going to ask you just to wrap my arm in this uh, cooling blanket here. If you just pop your gloves off and uh, take your seat. Now, as you can see, uh, one of my arms is going to be super cold. Uh, the other will remain at room temperature. I will then compare blood gases uh, for both arms. I guess he's hungry. Um, I expect so. Appropriate moment for warm cuddle with mum. Taisha. 
Are you sure you wouldn't like to reconsider trying to breastfeed? I think it's uh, better if you feed him yourself. Oh, this 